as we are talking about graphs, let us use these graphs to also understand constant return to scale, increasing return to scale and decreasing return to scale. Here we have again we are drawing isoquant on y axis we have k and on x axis we have l and here we have one isoquant fine. And let us say we take this particular or let me say let me take another we are taking this particular combination of L naught labor and capital. Now, if we double the amount of labor means let us say roughly we are here and we double the amount of capital we are here. So, what we will get? We will have another isoquant passing through this point and if it is constant return to scale, what we are going to get? This is q naught, then we are going to get here as 2 q naught and if it is increasing return to scale, then what we will get? Greater than 2 q naught and if it is decreasing return to scale, then it will be less than 2 q naught. So, in other word if we can say this that when we have constant return to scale and we are drawing isoquant with the equal you know the equal differences like 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay. If this is the case again the pictures are not that nice, but if this is the case for let us say constant return to scale what we will get in the increasing return to scale that isoquant will become nearer for the same value 10, 20, 30, 40 they will become nearer and nearer. Why? Because if we double all the inputs then output will more than double and what we are saying that here we are saying that we are taking isoquant for quantity 10, then 20, then 30, then 40. Again we are taking for 10, 20, 30 and 40. So, what is happening here in constant return to scale from this point you know if we are moving here we need to double we can find a corresponding point here. Let us say here we have again this is not to the scale we need to double when we reach here, but here if we double constant in increasing return to scale what will we get? We will get more than 20, but if we want to draw the isoquant for 20 what do we need to do? We need to increase the capital and labor by less than the double amount. So, in that case it would be closer to the isoquant 10 in comparison to constant return to scale isoquant 10 and 20. So, they will become nearer and nearer and you can use the same logic if you have decreasing return to scale the isoquant will be spaced further and further for the same values in comparison to constant return to scale. Now, we can talk about let us start a new topic again in the producer theory and that is cost. Is it clear the earlier thing that we talked about and it is quite important to understand not just the mathematics, but also graph it helps you understand the intuition behind these things.